some fuel up to here. Shouldn't spend too much time here. Hmm, I'm a pissing runs. Oh, expensive. I'm gonna buy them for one salvo. In case I need them. Box. Actually, I'm thinking of selling that, that longbow right now, because then I need less fuel to carry it around, and I probably won't get any ships anytime soon. I'll probably get rid of this one and get some smaller ships. I'll make the decision. Screw it. Yeah, no, I got some real fuel range. Rare module, it's probably full of planes I could have bought. Okay, anybody spot me? Nah, that's just regular travel. Yeah, they came looking for me, but they didn't find me. I'm not even going to use special ammo. The enemy has been destroyed. The enemy has been destroyed. Yeah, that one got shot to pieces. There was almost nothing left of him. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Auto. Oh, okay. The spike looks... It looks like eh, it could be a missile. If it gets longer, it's a missile. Attention. Oh yeah, that is so a missile. Speed 9, okay, it's a cage 15. Yeah, now we're getting a missile breakfast. I usually spend two anti-aircraft missiles on them and use an MG fire. Because those missiles are easier to replace than the repair you need to take from one Sevastopol missile hit from a cruise missile. Attention. Visual contact. Yeah, I'm probably going to get hit three or four times now. Thermal signature detected. Oh, something over missile. to wait yet. I'm getting missiles from two sides. There's two strike groups or at least ships with missiles on them. Oh, this is looking bad. Yeah, I need to refuel. Oh, come on. I need to refuel and make it to Masada up there. Going to jump over to Masada, maybe I'll be safe over there for them. Oh, yeah, planes, which I sold earlier. Okay, now I can put some. Yep, that looks like a good person to have. H15P, and let's take an A100. We got something for close range defense if a missile comes at me. I'm going to buy some in reserve. Actually, no, I'm going to buy more of those. And the ship missile. Any anti aircraft missiles? Nope. Okay. Gonna do manual repairs. I need to get out really quick here. Warning, radar emission detected. Oh yeah, they're coming for me. Is that, what's my fuel range actually right now? Oh, it's over 5,000 kilometers right now. <laughs> I got that much fuel. Well, I could fly up to there if I wanted to. Not. 
Well, that's the advantage of just having one ship. Okay, I'm gonna go to Resh directly. I'm going to sneak past all those places here. <coughs> I'm keeping my radar off. If I turn my radar on right now, it's going to get me locked onto a lot of things. It's no warning message. Is in danger. Come on, come on, come on, get past me. Oh, see, he missed me. <laughs> I mean, I, c I could send a missile up their butts just to see what happens. Ah, let's do it. It's great. Running it on here. Oh, it found something. Come on, get through, get through. Oh, yeah. That was a hit. Now that strike group is damaged and it's going to be slower. And it just feels good to knock him, knock him one like that. regular messages Ooh, all that fuel I can go directly to rest I'm going to miss over here here and directly okay oh yeah that's a, that's an aircraft carrier group mm, that's a problem if they see me over here I mean their planes are probably have a range of almost 2,000 kilometers I think was it 2,059 I'm sure let's say this okay if they spot me um, well I can fight them off I think Hmm, what's the range of the 100? Ah, should have bought one more KH 50p. Then I could knock them. Because of the aircraft carrier, they're mostly parked and they never move unless they have to, I think. So if you know where they are once, you can strike them. And if you hit the aircraft carrier, that's a strategic target on the map that's not going to bother you anymore. Now they got no encryption. See, the old cipher keys are gone. The good thing about the aircraft carriers, they don't have uh, cruise missiles. <clears throat> yeah, that looks easy enough. They haven't fired a single shot at me, I like that. Auto. Now the obligatory missile um, plane attack is going to come in really soon, I think. Ah, it's still landing. I was not those. I shouldn't land on those ships if you want to hide them later. I mean, it would look kind of weird if you ask the captain, you want to join me? Oh, you're that guy who landed on my ship's roof. Come on, come on. One hundred meters, throwing in ready. Touchdown confirmed. Success. Thanks for your hard work. Depth challenge. Okay, so 50%. Oh, I still got fuel to get over here. Okay, first let's see if we can get a new ship, finally. Put the cage 50 p over here. Hmm, I leave the 100 in. I might need it for close range defense. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? Oh, a Yaris Mark II, yeah, that's a good one. Four missiles. I'm gonna take one of those. What's this? Navarre and Ateco at bombs I don't need. And I think those are 57 millimeter ones. Eh. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. There's nothing better right now, so. I'll also take the tanker. 
Mm, why not? I got the money. Yeah, I got a tanker. Yeah, this is looking good. See if some of the ammo is useful. Okay, what I can do right now is I can try to attack this place. There's a fleet HQ and have a save point. Now, since my intention is already to attack it, I'm going to strike it with missiles and then move into soften it because I'm very pretty sure there's a strike group sitting there. Okay, let's see here. First, I'm gonna hit it with some KH 15s. I'm gonna see what those two first are going to do. Then we'll check the others. That looks like a normal garrison, is it? No, no, it's not a garrison. There's some larger ships, I think. Well, not large, but medium. The enemy has been destroyed. Oh, that was a good hit. I'm going to send the rest of them what I have. Let's move in. The first one took 5,000 damage. I think it, it was a critical hit somewhere in, in the ammo compartment or something. And I'm going to send the Navarin Yavar in first on its own. Yeah, I think there was a surprise attack, except for the missiles hitting them. <clears throat> ah, shot the old missile. Damn it, guys. Stop flying, come on. The enemy has been destroyed. So it was a surprise attack. They don't know where I am, I think. <clears throat> Let's check the radio. Ah, it's encrypted anyway. <clears throat> That's not good. It's coming from the north. That could be missiles hitting the town. So I'm just going to park myself over here and wait. Because it's, if it's heading for the town, I'll just save my Sevastopol from getting hit. Oh no, it's a strike group. Well, good thing I got that thing over here, stop. So. And that's good. Where did the missile go? Oh, I think it lost ray, it lost um, visual contact because it flew out of here and then it didn't have a guidance. <clears throat> Wait, I can catch that probably. No, they got away. Come on. Okay, I'm going to do some basic landing, and then this should be enough for this episode, I hope.
Yep, that's a good landing. But the moment I get out of the of the landing screen, it's going to save again. Our oh, frame is nuts. Okay, now I'm going to give it the refueling order. Up to your refueling storage. Yeah, not the ammo I am particularly looking for. Incendiary, nah. Not that needed right now. So this one, I'm going to sell some of the nukes. I'm going to sell all of them. We have some spare money for ships if I need them. Rearming the missiles. There's the ours. Okay, so it saves that new configuration of the source code. And in a Varin, could use some repairs. Okay, now I'm going to end, um, exit off the screen, then it's going to save the game, and that should conclude the episode. And as always, thanks for watching, and I hope I see you next time.